Humic acid is a principal component of humic substances, which are the major organic constituents of soil, peat, coal, many upland streams, dystrophic lakes, and ocean water. It is produced by biodegradation of dead organic matter. It is not a single acid. Rather, it is a complex mixture of many different acids containing carboxyl and phenolate groups so that the mixture behaves functionally as a debasic acid or, occasionally, as a tribasic acid. Humic acids can form complexes with ions that are commonly found in the environment creating humic colloids. Humic and fulvic acids are commonly used as a soil supplement in agriculture, and less commonly as a human nutritional supplement. As a nutrition supplement, fulvic acid can be found in a liquid form as a component of mineral colloids. Fulvic acids are polyelectrolytes and are unique colloids that diffuse easily through membranes whereas all other colloids do not. Synthesis of fulvic acid was accomplished by a route involving selective ozonization of 9 propanylpronobenzopyrin, obtained by a regioselective cyclization of the 2 methylsulfonylmethyl 1, 3 diene, 3 C. Formation and description Humic substances are formed by the microbial degradation of dead plant matter, such as lignin. They are very resistant to further biodegradation. The precise properties and structure of a given sample depend on the water or soil source and the specific conditions of extraction. Nevertheless, the average properties of humic substances from different sources are remarkably similar. Humic substances in soils and sediments can be divided into three main fractions, humic acids, fulvic acids, and humin. The humic and fulvic acids are extracted as a colloidal sol from soil and other solid phase sources into a strongly basic aqueous solution of sodium hydroxide or potassium hydroxide. Humic acids are precipitated from this solution by adjusting the pH to 1 with hydrochloric acid, leaving the fulvic acids in solution. This is the operational distinction between humic and fulvic acids. Humin is insoluble in dilute alkali. The alcohol soluble portion of the humic fraction is, in general, named ulmic acid. So called gray humic acids are soluble in low ionic strength alkaline media. Brown humic acids are soluble in alkaline conditions independent of ionic strength. And fulvic acids are soluble independent of pH and ionic strength. Liquid chromatography and liquid liquid extraction can be used to separate the components that make up a humic substance. Substances identified include mono, D, and trihydroxy acids, fatty acids, dicarboxylic acids, linear alcohols, phenolic acids, and terpenoids. Chemical characteristics of humic substances A typical humic substance is a mixture of many molecules, some of which are based on a motif of aromatic nuclei with phenolic and carboxylic substituents, linked together. The illustration shows a typical structure. The functional groups that contribute most to surface charge and reactivity of humic substances are phenolic and carboxylic groups. Humic acids behave as mixtures of debasic acids, with a pK1 value around 4 for protonation of carboxyl groups and around 8 for protonation of phenolate groups. There is considerable overall similarity among individual humic acids. For this reason, Measured pK values for a given sample are average values relating to the constituent species. The other important characteristic is charge density. The molecules may form a supramolecular structure held together by non-covalent forces, such as van der Waals force, a euro a euro, and CHI euro bonds. The presence of carboxylate and phenolate groups gives the humic acids the ability to form complexes with ions such as Mg2+, Ka2+, Fe2+, and Fe3+. Many humic acids have two or more of these groups arranged so as to enable the formation of chelate complexes. The formation of complexes is an important aspect of the biological role of humic acids in regulating bioavailability of metal ions. Determination of humic acids in water samples the presence of humic acid in water intended for potable or industrial use can have a significant impact on the treatability of that water and the success of chemical disinfection processes. Accurate methods of establishing humic acid concentrations are therefore essential in maintaining water supplies, especially from upland peaty catchments in temperate climates. 
as a lot of different bioorganic molecules in very diverse physical associations are mixed together in natural environments, it is cumbersome to measure their exact concentrations in the humic superstructure. For this reason, concentrations of humic acid are traditionally estimated out of concentrations of organic matter or dissolved organic carbon. Extraction procedures are bound to alter some of the chemical linkages present in the soil humic substances. The humic extracts are composed of large numbers of different bioorganic molecules that have not yet been totally separated and identified. However, single classes of residual biomolecules have been identified by selective extractions and chemical fractionation, and are represented by alkanoic and hydroxyalkanoic acids, resins, waxes, lignin residues sugars, and peptides. Ecological effects, organic matter soil amendments have been known by farmers to be beneficial to plant growth for longer than recorded history. However, the chemistry and function of the organic matter have been a subject of controversy since humans began their postulating about it in the 18th century. Until the time of Lee Big, it was supposed that humus was used directly by plants, but, after Lee Big had shown that plant growth depends upon inorganic compounds, many soil scientists held the view that organic matter was useful for fertility only as it was broken down with the release of its constituent nutrient elements into inorganic forms. At the present time, soil scientists hold a more holistic view and at least recognize that humus influences soil fertility through its effect on the water holding capacity of the soil. Also, since plants have been shown to absorb and translocate the complex organic molecules of systemic insecticides, they can no longer discredit the idea that plants may be able to absorb the soluble forms of humus. This may in fact be an essential process for the uptake of otherwise insoluble iron oxides. A study on the effects of humic acid on plant growth was conducted at Ohio State University which said in part a euro oe humic acids increased plant growth or euro and that there were a euro oe or relatively large responses at low application rates a euro ancient masonry, in ancient Egypt, according to archaeology, straw was mixed with mud in order to produce building bricks. Straw produces stronger bricks that are less likely to break or lose their shape. Modern investigations have found that humic acid is released from straw when mixed with mud, basically a mixture of sand and clay. Humic acid increases clay's plasticity. See also, glomalin, potassium humate, further reading, Hessen, D.O. Tranvik, L.J. Aquatic Humic Substances, Ecology and Biogeochemistry. Berlin, Springer. ISBN A3-540-63910-1A, references.